All right, some DS2 G Wiz. Now, I'm using the remote here. I've not tried this with the WS6, but I wouldn't think it would be any different. When you save a program in the Mighty DS2, is the actual frequency used when you saved it? Is it saved? Answer is no. I'm going to demonstrate, but we're going to look at a couple of things here. First, I'm going to turn the unit on, okay? Probably should have done, done this before. Okay. We're going to go over here. We're just going to stick with the fast program. I turn that unit on, it's in the fast program. Okay, we're going down here to frequency max shift. See that there? It says zero. Alright, I can change programs and then I can go back. Go back down here, frequency max, and check it. Okay, now I've got auto skin off on this machine. We will verify that. Frequency scan manual. See that right there? Okay. So again, you see what I've got there. I'm at frequency shift zero. Now this machine does come up in the mode it was in at when you turn it off and turn it back on. Now you've seen it frequency shift zero. That's where she's at. I'm turning this machine off. Okay. We're going to turn the machine back on. Now I didn't save nothing. Okay, but we're just going to see where this thing's at. It does come up in the program. Auto scan is off like I said. Okay, the fast program. We're going down here frequency max. We're going to hit the shift key. We're at zero again. Okay, I tried this in the house and I got different results. Okay, let's turn the machine back off. But I had to call near some metal. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. Turn it back on. Got that call propped up there on that styrofoam. We're coming back on with her again. Fast program. Frequency shift. Uh-oh, see there? Different frequency shift. So it come on different that time, which is what I was seeing in the house. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit frequency shift, and I'm going to bring it over here, just max it out to six. This is a program we're going to save. And we're going to go ahead and come down here to reactivity and just max it out. Okay. Now we're going over here, we're going to save this program, save, select, slot 16, select, we're going to call this program, triple seven, you see that, four sevens, so there it is, okay, now we're going to go down here, we haven't turned the machine off yet, Frequency shift. We're at six. Okay. We're turning off the DS2. I have a saved program. Turning the DS2 back on. I don't know if I said it at the beginning of this video or not, but I was talking to a friend. He brought this up, and I said, well, let's see if it saves this or not. Okay, there's our save program. Frequency max, shift key. Mm, it is at six this time. So let's turn the machine back off, because I didn't get this result in the house either. Turn the DS2 back on. This is not really that important, it's just G Wiz. Okay. But now, this can drive the ID on some of your coins, etc. Okay, there we are. We're in our save program. We're down here at frequency max 40. 
shift. See there? Now it's at five, so it does not save that. And you can see my reactivity there. I saved at five. That's our save program. See it right up? You see it there? Four dot seven seven seven. So this is some gee whiz for the DS2 users out there. Frequency, the actual frequency does not get saved, evidently. Now, potluck, it could come in, I guess. Randomly, you could get the same frequency. But that's all it would be based on what you've seen in this video and what I've seen five minutes prior to shooting this video. I hope everybody enjoyed.